Hey guys, Riley Spanish here. In this video, I have four 151 binder collections. Um, these have been popping up at Targets, at least in my area again, and I haven't seen them in quite a while, like since they were a fairly recent product. Um, so I was pretty happy to see them just because I always had like kind of wished I bought more of them just to have extra binders because I feel like you know, the more sets I decide I want to collect and everything, I have to buy binders for them. So it'll be nice to have a couple of backup ones here. Uh, but also, I haven't opened 151 in a very long time. And uh, still I have never pulled a Demigod pack. Um, but also, you know, wouldn't mind just pulling something that's valuable for me to sell. I do have every card I want from this set. I have pulled everything from it, but you know, I mainly collect the illustration rares and special illustration rares, starting with a hollow fire energy uh, Charizard demigod pack incoming. No, Clefairy, Dratini, and a Mr. Mime. Starting off with a hollow fire energy. Not really a pull, but it is something. Um, but I've got. 16 packs here, so definitely a lot of chances to make something happen. Um, personally, my favorite artwork line is the uh, the Venusaur one, as far as getting a demigod pack would go. But you know, for money reasons, the Charizard one would obviously be the most preferred. Um, I have been lucky; I pulled the Charizard SIR three times from this set, but. Pulling another one would be pretty sick. Tentacruel, Giovanni's Charisma SIR, just like that. And a Full Heart Daisy's help behind it. A sick double banger. This is actually, so I bought this card. It is the only SIR I never pulled from this set. And now I can officially say that I have, thankfully. Um, do I need it? No, but I uh, actually bought it I want to say a month or two ago at a card show just to finish off the set because I didn't want to rip packs just trying to pull that of course. Um, so I guess at the beginning of the video when I said I pulled everything, technically I didn't. I never pulled that one specific card, um, but now I did. So that is no longer a lie. All right, pack number three. That was a super sick pack. Um, Definitely like one of the lower priced SIRs in the set, if not the lowest, I believe, uh, coming in around like 10, 15 bucks, but with the full art daisy behind it, definitely a good pack. 151 is such a cool set. Like I don't open it just because I don't need anything from it, but it is always fun to rip. Um, sometimes it can be a little brutal if you just are pretty unlucky and you get a bunch of dud packs in a row, but it's been popping up again, not in huge numbers, but I saw a lot of it at the Target I went to today. Binder collections and uh, ETBs, and then at Walmart, I've been seeing the Alakazam and Zapdos boxes in pretty great numbers. Um, and I think Best Buy, no, it's Costco, they're doing the UPCs for like 80 bucks. Pidgeot, Bellsprout, and a Charizard EX. Nice, normal EX to pull. So that first box was definitely a solid one. Um, not really profit territory, but, you know, pretty reasonably close to it. And if you consider what the, like, true value of one of these binders is, um, I'd say definitely worthwhile on that first one. Hoping to do pretty well on the rest of them. Can't necessarily expect an SIR from every single one, but I'd still love to hit that Demigod pack. It seems like statistically, you know, with the amount of this that I've ripped, I should have pulled one, but um, you know, they're just super, super rare. They wouldn't be very cool if they were easy to hit. Horsey, Seal, and a ditto. Come on. 
hollow psychic energy, Goldeen, Lickitung, and a Gengar. So nothing from this second box yet besides a hollow energy, which I do sleeve. These usually sell for about 50 cents a piece on my TCG player. Um, really nothing that crazy though. They were like a buck or two each when the set first came out, which was nice, but you know, once everyone that wanted to use them for their decks did, that uh, that price definitely dropped down pretty drastically on them. Parasect, Gloom, and Weezing, still nothing from box number two. Wouldn't be surprising to go a whole box with no pulls, but definitely hoping there's something in this fourth pack of box number two. The rare is upside down. I wonder if that's going to be something good. Persian, Gloom, and a Blastoise EX upside down. That's a cool thing to happen. Not very, uh, not very often that you see them packaged wrong like that. It does happen though. get into box number three here. It's always kind of weird to me that this product doesn't have its own code card. I'll just get the binder and the packs. Not that it's something I, I guess it's because there's no unique promo to it that you could redeem in the uh, online TCG, but you know, usually every little thing has a code card with it. Hollow Lightning Energy. Electrode, Pidgeotto, and Flareon. Haven't seen any normal illustration rares yet, but definitely hoping to get at least one of those, preferably one of the good ones, one of the starter Pokemon. Magnemite, Krabby, and a Ninetales EX. Pack number three of box number three. Rhyhorn, Raichu, and another Ninetales EX in back-to-back -back packs. That's a little strange. Maybe the full art Ninetales will be in this one. Hunter, Rhydon, and Mr. Mime. So two Ninetales EXs from the third box. Let's hope for some last box magic. That first one was super nice. Middle two have been uh, not great, but still a fun set to open. Um, but hoping to get something good from this final one. Either way, I got my, uh, my four binders, which was kind of the purpose of purchasing this product here but obviously you want to do all right on the packs too last box magic four packs left the first one was just uh, really nice though with the double banger a Charizard EX hard to complain about that Machop, Rattata, and Ditto
Giovanni, and a Bulbasaur illustration rare. Excellent pull. And then Mr. Mime. That's what I was hoping for. One of these starter Pokemon illustration rares. Those always make up a good chunk of your cost. They are such beautiful artworks, especially the Bulbasaur line. It is my favorite. Not necessarily just in terms of Pokemon in general that are my favorites, but the artwork of the Bulbasaur line is the best in my opinion. Hollow Fighting Energy. Clefairy. Poliwag and Nidoking. And how about some last pack magic? Muck, Old Amber, and a Beedrill. No last pack magic, but that's all right. Um, did get a couple of decent pulls with the SIR and the Bulbasaur there. Cannot complain at all. Got my binders. Let me quickly go through these. Have the energies in there as well, but that Bulbasaur, a couple of Ninetales, Blastoise, Charizard, Daisy's Help, and Giovanni's Charisma SIR. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing.